Having a genetic mutation, it's not if, it's when. You just get so caught up in this and you don't want it to be your whole life. You want to have life in other ways. I have a very full life. I have a full-time job. I have four daughters. I have a new grandson. I play tennis. I do yoga. I have Joe in my life. We do lots of fun things. Joe and I met two months before I was diagnosed. He lost his wife of 26 years to cancer. He's a remarkable man. I'm very lucky to meet somebody like-minded who enjoys so much of the same things that I do. I have something called Lynch syndrome, which is a family genetic mutation. Lynch syndrome is 80 to 90% lifetime risk of digestive tract cancers. I had been losing weight. I was jaundiced. When I went in for the annual colonoscopy, I got a call within two hours saying something's wrong. It was a pretty fast diagnosis that turned serious extremely quick. On February 26, 2013, I went into surgery, came to several hours later, and he said we couldn't do it because it spread. You have spots on your liver. It's ampullary cancer, stage four. We went through three different kinds of chemo. I've never been sicker in my life, it was horrible. I did it for a year. Because my cancer was MSI high, I was eligible for a clinical trial at Johns Hopkins. I get a call saying, if you can get down here tomorrow, we'll treat you. In the clinical trial, I received pembrolizumab. I would go down every two weeks, I would take the train, I would go up, I would get the infusion, I would get back on the train. Immunotherapy is really about enhancing your body's own ability to fight cancer. There was no side effects. I got all my hair back, no neuropathy. I felt great. I would have a biopsy three months following the first treatment. The surgeon who did it came over to me and said, if somebody hadn't told me you have ampullary cancer, I wouldn't have known. There's nothing there. It's gone. My last treatment was April 2016. And here I am, almost three years later, and I'm doing fine. I'm so glad I'm, I'm going to be around to watch my grandson grow up. I'm grateful that my daughters live close by. The Cancer Research Institute is the reason that cancer is being addressed with immunotherapy. And the research not only saved my life, but will potentially save members of my family. I'm alive. Life is great. I don't have anything that gets in the way of me living. I don't have to worry about this purely and simply because I got cured of this cancer in a way that did not compromise the rest of my body. Immunotherapy is absolutely the wave of the future and present.